everybody. Uh, welcome to the Broker Corner. It's Todd Conklin, employing broker in Idaho. Um, but I think this message probably speaks to all of us here at Distinct Properties, um, and it's about clear marketing message. This has gotten confusing over time. I'm not sure exactly why, but um, I'm hopeful that I'm, I can sort of give you some best practice and dispel some of the myths. I'm sure there will be additional questions. Um, so as always, make sure that you are reaching out and having a conversation with your managing director um, and or employing broker um, in your state if you have questions. Ultimately, any of your actions or inactions or misactions um, fall at the feet of those of us who are employing brokers. So again, I want to talk about um, your, your marketing message. Um, oftentimes when we're doing our marketing, whether they be postcards or brochures or signs even, uh, business cards, uh, websites, uh, social media, it's big on social media. Uh, we're, we're making some mistakes, so I want to see if I can't help you. Um, he, here, here's the here's the thing that that that, uh, that from a legal perspective, this is what it says. It says that clear and specific, conspicuous. That's what we will be. Is clear and conspicuous with the broker's name and contact information. I have absolutely no idea what clear and conspicuous means, but maybe you all do. Um, what I can tell you is that the rule of thumb that I've always used, and certainly that's part of our policies and procedures manual is that your name, whether it be your individual name or whether it be maybe you've created a logo for, for you or your business or your team, um, it can't be the focal point, right? Um, Coldwell Banker Distinctive Properties is the brand of the organization that we all work for. Um, so at the absolute, you know, sort of outer reaches my name and or my personal logo can't be any bigger than that of the office of the company. My phone number, if I'm going to have both, can't be any any bigger. Does it make sense? Like it's got to be equal billing at the very least. Um, and, and folks, this is very, very important because this is this is one of those regulations um, that, that will be, if it isn't already, right, and I think it probably is being done on a pretty regular basis, it gets reported by our competitors, right, because this is not something that the average person out there notices, nor would they know that there's a rule or rec, uh, regulation pertaining to it, uh, but certainly other realtors know about it. And um, I don't want you to get in hot water. Uh, I also want you to be doing the right thing by the company. I want you to keep our employing brokers out of hot water. Uh, so when you are on social media, that's where I'm, I'm seeing most of it happen right now. When you're on social media and you have a business page, um, your business page has got to say Todd Conklin, Coldwell Banker Distinct Properties. Okay? You, you've got to have your business name in it. Um, when you are doing a post, um, if you're going to include your personal logo on a post, Make sure you're also including the Coldwell Banker to sync to properties logo. Got it? So equal billing. Um, it's very, very important. So, so if you have any questions, you're confused at all, please let us know. Um, over the next few weeks, we're, we're as managing directors, we're going to do our best to be diligent in pointing out the areas. This is this is not to get you in trouble. Right? I don't want you, I want you to take this in the absolute best way that we're here to help you. Uh, you know, not get yourself in trouble, right? And you're not getting in trouble with us. We're, we're going to help you do the right thing always. Another area that I want you to be very careful of, if you came from another office, be careful not to misrepresent what you sold. And this is what I mean. If you came from another office, let's just take an entire year. Let's say you worked at, at an office. Uh, over the course of the last 12 months, you sold $10 million in real estate. Right? And, and the first half of, uh, of the year, you sold $3 million at Banana Real Estate. And you came over to Coldwell Banker, Distinctive Properties, and you finished out the year, you sold $10 million. And you go to market that you did $10 million. You have to disclaim that $3 million were, was with a different brokerage. You can't claim that you did all $10 million at Coldwell Banker, Distinctive Properties. 
I hope that makes sense because the reality is, as we all know, right, whether they be buyers or sellers or listings or what have you, the contracts aren't the agents. They're actually the employing brokers, right? The clients are actually the employing bro brokers. So, so please make sure like, you're, you're doing the right thing. If there's a question, um, one of the resources that you have available to you, obviously, is our policies and procedures manual. But you can always pick up the phone and talk to a managing director. Always pick up the phone and talk to an employing broker. Uh, God knows, I think we have like 20 plus, 25 uh, uh, current and past employing brokers within our organization. So a very deep bench of people who know the answers to these. Uh, and I uh, hope this helped you to be a better broker. Talk to you later.